recording? See that red flashing light? Yeah. That means recording. Cool. Season 1, Episode 3, featuring Adam Lissagor from Sandwich Video. Ooh, child, things, things are, are gonna, gonna get easier. easier. What movie is that from? Ooh, ooh, things are Wow, I'm are really annoyed now. Google. Someday. You keep, I'm yeah. almost there. Ooh, child. Shut up. <laughs> what picture? Oh, I remember. Got it. But Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, you say one line and then immediately going to... <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey. So what do I... Hey. Welcome to the show. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. First of all, can you tell us, like, briefly what Sandwich Video actually is? Sure. We make videos for, um, for companies large and small to, to, uh, to promote and, and uh, demonstrate and sometimes sell their products. So one of the things Jonathan and I admire about you is that you can take a really complex idea and distill it down to its essence and make it really easy to understand and engaging and make people want to get behind it. So what what's your process behind doing that? I've always attributed it to me, to, to my, my brain working slower than most people's brains do. <laughs> where it takes me a little bit more time to understand something. And so I actually have to do the work of um, paying attention to my thought processes as I'm, as I'm trying to make sense of, of something that I've never heard of before. And the advantage of doing that is it makes it easier um, to use those same, process, those same mental processes in explaining it to somebody else, which is arguably 90% of what I do. Because you're slow and don't have a good brain, you're good at your job. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put it on. Whoa. Oh my word, your voice has never been this bad. It sounds amazing in my head. You, 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 I want that car. Just, just this long. long. That's a $150,000 car. Woo. Stand, Stand by, by me. me. Never mind. Oh, Ain't No Sunshine is good. Yeah, that's why I've been trying to sing. Ain't No Sunshine? Yeah. You have no idea how it goes. Yeah. Ain't, ain't no sunshine when she's gone. This is what I've been trying to find. This is lean on me. Yeah. This is what I've been going for. All sounds similar. <laughs> Not at all. We all need somebody to lean on. We all need somebody to lean on. Your turn. I just might have a problem that you'd understand. <laughs> I didn't laugh during your part. You didn't give me a solo. You just forgot. You just stopped. Okay, good. But be respectful when I'm soloing. <laughs> Have there been companies in hindsight that you just kick yourself for not working with? I, I only regret, like, not making better business decisions with the clients I have had um, because there are a, a, a fair number of huge uh, companies that I worked with early on that I didn't really take full advantage of uh, for, on a business side. Are there specific specific examples that you can talk about in terms of like business decisions that you would have done differently now? I mean, I know of one. I just don't know if you're going to share it. Share it, share it, share it. <laughs> you know, early on, I worked with. I had I had such good fortune. I worked with Square, Airbnb, and Uber, and and even Groupon before I you know before IPO. And um, all of those could have been situations where I, I could have probably capitalized on it a little bit differently. What was the thought process? Were you, you just not understand startups so well at the time and you just wanted to collect a paycheck? Or um, were you too hesitant and timid to kind of ask for equity? It was really not knowing because at the time I was running the company by pretty much, you know, by myself, had no employees, was working out of my apartment. And what you're concerned with then is how, you know, when do I get that check and how do I pay my rent and how do I buy another computer and um, stuff like that. You don't have, you don't have that capital to, 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 to take risks. What do they say there? Ooh. No, come on. What? That's a good song. She's a very freaking girl. You skip Super Freak. You never skip Super Freak. Why would you skip Super Freak? There are three people behind a curtain. You get to ask them one question to determine which one you marry. What's that question? I would ask them, how do you think that kids today are different from kids when we were kids? 
then I want to be with somebody who thinks that the world is getting better. That that answer was amazing. Yeah, so fast. Okay. Well, no, so what I was going to say, the second part of that answer... Hold on, we're slow clapping you. Somebody. Okay. If you had to estimate, what would be the production budget for the show we're putting on? I think probably around $1,000, not more than that. Per, per episode or like for infinity? Per episode, yeah. If that's the case, you will get uh, about 30 seconds of on-air time. Perfect. Deal. Sponsorship number, number two. two. Sandwich video. This episode brought to you by Sandwich Video. Sandwich, what's your website? Yeah, what's your, sandwichvideo.com. How did you get the name Sandwich Video? I've never asked you that question. Oh, because it's the most boring question you could possibly ask. <laughs> <laughs> Great. You heard it first. Adam Lissiger from Sandwich Video. You're the man. Thanks Can I for correct your pronunciation? Are you serious? We just want to thank Adam Lissigor for joining us. We really appreciate it. You're amazing. Keep up the good work. And um, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for sponsoring episode number three. Two. You're welcome. Three. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> Ooh. You like no. into the group? I thought it was ACDC. I got it. Love song, love song. I got it. Love song. I got it. Love song. I got it. Love song. I saw the signs, and it opened up my eyes. I saw the signs. Run, 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 away. Run, 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 run